Welcome back to the show. We've joined Ashley Larkin in the kitchen. Remind us again what you're making, Ashley. I am doing a beautiful Mediterranean style pasta dish. I'm going to show you how to make a pesto, homemade pesto. Yum. And I'm going to show you this TikTok sensation that was baked feta with a oh, tomato yeah. sauce. This yeah, it was all over the place. Um, yeah. But I'm doing a little bit, I'm going one better. Okay. I'm going to do it with ricotta, right? So what we're going to do is I've got Even a lovely nicer. big bacon right here. Yeah, you know what? Ricotta is about half the fat of feta and about a third of the salt. So it's a much healthier alternative, but you're still getting all of that delicious creaminess from your sauce. So Beautiful Italian olive oil in my tray, mm -hmm. first and foremost. Into that, I'm going to pop some lovely cherry tomatoes. So I have some yellow ones, I have some red ones, I've got some on the vine. You can chop them in half, just pop them in. So these are going to roast down and this is going to be the, the sweetness and the tomatoiness of that Does sauce. Does leaving the vine in alter the flavour or enhance the flavour in any way? It, it can enhance the aroma so that when it okay. cooks you get this more delicious smell. Flavour, technically no. It but does it, look it does. good though, doesn't yeah, it? it does. Just leave it in. And when you pull off the vine, you kind of have this gorgeous smell. You get that real greenhouse tomato yeah, smell. Lovely. It's lovely. I'm putting in some gorgeous sweet red peppers and when these cook down, they kind of go sweet and sticky into Lovely. the sauce, which is really nice. I'm just leaving it big, popping that in. So we're gonna spread this all around. Next up, I have some garlic. This is smoked garlic, okay? So it's okay. oak smoked garlic. So it has this extra, just another layer of flavor that we're gonna add to this. So this dish is all about building, building those layers of flavor as you go. So a little bit of smoked garlic in there. Then I have my ricotta, comes in a tub, did you just throw the full garlic clove in? Yeah, yeah with skin, skin and everything. No way. And I'm going to just pop it out then when it comes out. So it roasts, so it's really, really sweet and when it comes the out. the flavour still goes... Oh, yeah. Even if you take skin. off the skin, it might burn a little bit. Okay. So when you leave the skin on, you keep all of the sweetness in there. Pop my ricotta in the middle. And then I have just fresh... Just like that, you're not going to mix yeah. it or break it down? No, when it melts and when it bakes in the oven, we're going to do that. I have some lovely fresh thyme or fresh oregano would be lovely, but this is lovely. It's really soft thyme. Sometimes it's a little bit woody. Mm. This one is beautiful. Pop that in, another little splash of olive oil over the top just to keep everything nice. We're going to roast that in the oven by 25 minutes, 180 degrees, and I'm going to show you the one that we have already. So this one's going to go in. Sounds like this. That would be a lovely pasta sauce for anything, just a generic one to have. Absolutely. On its own. So this is what oh, it comes out like. So it's all kind of roasted and a little bit gnarly looking and really, really good. And this one I actually made with feta because when I went to the supermarket, there was one <laughs> tub of ricotta left I on the shelf. I was going to say, that one. square looks like yeah, a feta Yeah, how did pot. a circle go to a square? <laughs> this is feta, so I am actually making it with both. We're going to just mash that down a little bit. This is the garlic. Yeah. So we're going to just pop it out and you have your full cloves of garlic and they just stir in into oh, the yum. sauce. We're going to stir this all around. So the feta then becomes the creaminess as it breaks down. Yeah. I have some chicken on the pan, which I'm just roasting, just cooking off, frying off really quickly. Cut it into really thin strips. So it's just going to cook in a matter of five or six minutes. This is okay. going to be cooked. Mm. And then we have our pesto. Typically, you've got basil pesto, okay? Mm -hmm. You start with pine nuts. Um, I am using sunflower seeds tonight. So sunflower seeds are higher in fibre, they're slightly lower in fat and they're cheaper. So if you're making big batches of pesto, they're really, really good. Pine nuts can, like, it could be Pine four years, four, and, but pricey, four or five years. Very expensive. Yeah. Sunflower seeds, half the price. Yeah. And you get the same nutty kind of flavour. Parmesan cheese goes in, garlic goes in, and then you would typically use basil, but I'm going to use a mixture of rocket and kale tonight. Or you can use rocket and kale and basil. So you don't get quite the, the hit of the basil, but you still get the flavour of the basil going in. So if kids didn't like a really strong basil flavour, mixing a little bit of rocket in with it is really, really nice. I can't really get on board with the kale thing. Do you eat kale? Yeah, I try to, to in smoothies. Would you oh. put yeah. smoothies? I'll be making some stuff, just like concoction of good right. stuff. Yeah. And throw it in. Yeah. Are you making the pesto from scratch here? Yes. No way. That's it now. That's that goes impressive. in, yeah. put it on. Hey presto, this is what it comes out like. I won't turn that on because it's very noisy. Um, but you've got your beautiful green pesto. So that's all done. And what made you choose green pesto over red pesto? Mm. I like the, the flavour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty much. The red one would be some blushed tomatoes. So you'd, you'd basically, you could use these tomatoes and do the exact same method and actually we get red pesto. Okay. Genius idea, I like that. <laughs> and you'd get rid of the kale and the basil, you just put in the red tomatoes? Just the red tomatoes, the garlic, the parmesan and the pine nuts or the sunflower seeds, yeah. So in here, I have some lovely pasta that I've cooked off. Now I would say when you're making this dinner, do a big batch. Do a double batch and you've got some left over for lunch tomorrow, the next day. So it's really, really nice. And this is a gorgeous, bronze dye pasta, okay, which means it's been, as it extrudes the pasta, um, it basically it has a rougher. Extrudes. <laughs> extrudes. So imagine they push the dough through like a shower head. And oh. if it's a plastic one, you get a finer pasta, but this is a rough texture. 
So it's, it's bronze dye, so it's a really good quality pasta. Rougher texture, holds onto the sauce a little bit more. Oh, that is interesting. And what's yeah. that shape called? <laughs> now, come on, see, we have all the hard questions shape. here, yeah. Ashley. This one is Fusilli Longhi Bugatti. Oh, oh there you go. I got that Accent one. I got well. that one. A in Italian for you. I can't remember the name of the other one, though. Uh, so we're going to mix the pesto in. We are going to mix our beautiful tomatoes and our peppers in and our feta. And I'm going to break down that feta in there. All the tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, everything is going in here. And I'm adding butter beans. Any of you butter beans? Um, I oh, haven't. I can live without them, to be honest can with you. Can you? Yeah. I'm going to tell you, right? They're quite bland. Like, they taste yeah, like nothing. Exactly. But really high in fibre. Nice. Really high in protein. So they're bulking out. You know if you're training, something yeah. like that. They're bulking out your meal without having to eat a huge amount of protein. Okay, so meat. you're not doing that for flavour, you're doing that just to bulk Nutrition. Up. Absolute nutrition, yeah. There's no, there's no real flavour of them. And I think people sometimes are kind of a little bit wary of them because they're kind of thinking, oh, I don't really like beans. But they have a mild texture and a mild flavour. But it's the nutrition reason that you're popping yeah, them in for. Good for the athletes out there. Totally. So this is just a matter of tossing everything together. So we have our tomatoes, we have our chicken, we have our butter beans, we have our pesto. Like, doesn't that just look amazing? Well, you talk about Before eating the rainbow and that definitely the flavour, with the colour. The flavour is amazing. I'm going to toss in some beautiful olives in here next. Love them or hate them, they do add a lovely salty note to them. I've got my little bit of kale that I'm going to wilt in as well. And then I have some Parmesan cheese to sit on top. So you top. haven't steamed that kale or anything? That's just... No, that was. And you know what I did? Really clever trick. As you're cooking your pasta, so you cook your pasta till it's al dente, which means it has a little bit of a bite. For the last two or three minutes, pop your kale in. Oh, and just goodness. wilt it down ever so slightly, and you get that beautiful, bright green colour. I and mean, would you just serve it up like that now, or Absolutely. any sides? Family style dining, middle of the table, jump in, everybody serves themselves, and it's, it's lovely. Yeah. And like if you wanted to have it more flexitarian or vegetarian, leave out the chicken. You've got your beans. So flexitarian, got... that's such a modern term. Yeah, it? I'm all about flexitarian cooking. Like good quality meat, good quality fish, good quality proteins, and then lots and lots of veg. And look, your lovely parmesan on top as well. The other ingredient that you can put in there, which I actually didn't tell you about, was anchovies. Again, Oy, love them or hate them, I know. But when they melt down, they add this amazing umami flavour. And you again, don't know actually. they're there, but they're yeah. gorgeous. Will you give um, Greg a little place there so he can yes, taste I will. a delicious oh meal? Yeah. Uh, we were talking yeah. to Megan Prescott from uh, Skins earlier on, and she has an OnlyFans account, which is sort of like maybe a saucier Instagram. And Greg would like to clarify, he has no plans to uh, <laughs> have his own. But Tom texted in to say she would certainly wash Greg O'Shea's feet. Wash. She would. Not wash. <laughs> wash. A wash. She'll wash them. Well, how much to wash them? <laughs> You're making an absolute fortune. Uh, well, how, much, how much is she paying for that? I'll be all right. Uh, <laughs> that is all we have time for tonight. A massive thank you to all of our guests and especially to Ashley for tonight's delicious pasta dish. Yes, thanks so much, Ashley.